Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Find out more about the Bachelor Nation celebrity. During season one of The Golden Bachelor, viewers got to know Jerry Turner as a single man searching for love. Now he's opening up exclusively to BachelorNation.com and responding to 20 quick questions. See a little more about Jerry down below. 1. People of a particular age are stereotyped far too frequently. This is a forbidden subject I love to discuss. I prefer to challenge age stereotypes and push the boundaries hard so that we are viewed as unique people rather than just a number. 2. In my opinion, the epitome of a hashtag relationship goals famous pair is, I have no idea. I don't have time to waste on someone else's romantic pursuits. That calls for social media knowledge that I lack and a focus that I don't require. 3. Dairy Queen blizzards are my guilty pleasure. I avoid them when I can, but once I start, I'll have them every day for a week. Yes, I always place a large order. 4. The finest advice I've ever heard about relationships is to find a mate you can't live without, not one you can live with. Trista Sutter gave me some guidance, and it was really helpful to me in making judgments for the show. My sign is underscore 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 and I would characterize my most sign as a Leo with confidence being my most Leo attribute. Empathy and chivalry follow closely behind. 6. Those who drive below the speed limit, especially in the passing lane, irritate me the most. Gosh. 7. Fettuccine Alfredo with fish would be my final dinner on earth. I would be pleased to have some crusty bread and olive oil added. 8. This is a simple one, but Etta James's, at last, is the song that always makes me want to dance. I want to dance to that music while preparing supper with my special someone in the kitchen. 9. I'm not very talented, but I can juggle. That's my hidden gift. I used to be able to ride a unicycle as well, but that was a long time ago. 10. Right now, my phone's screensaver is this picture of me and my two girls from a football game in East Lansing, Michigan, roughly five years ago, dressed as Iowa Hockeys. After my wife died, my girls saved my soul, and this was one of those occasions when they let me put everything aside and simply enjoy the moment. 11. Without a doubt, my dad is the one that inspires me the most. He still believes the world is his oyster at 92. Despite having a number of significant physical issues, he never lets go of his cheerful outlook. He served as a great inspiration. The most well-known individual I'd like to meet is Volodymyr Zelensky. What a motivating person and great leader. Where does he get all of his strength from? 13. The last search I did was for the definition of Grand Zaddy's here. 14. The first night was my favorite aspect of participating in The Golden Bachelor. I was frequently asked by my kids how I managed to stay up until 10 p.m. I was having to be dragged out of the mansion at 7.30 in the morning. The highlight of my bachelor experience was meeting all 22 of the women as they came out of the limousines. 15. I learned to cherish each moment of life by being on The Golden Bachelor. Taken every subtlety that is there, it's all significant. Additionally, must exercise patience. 16. Penelope Cruz is the star I'm crushing on. 17. Remember to pack if you're participating in The Golden Bachelor. An open heart and all the hope you can store in your bag are the most critical things to bring for the Golden Bachelor. 18. I still own a pair of hiking boots that I used while filming The Golden Bachelor in Costa Rica's Highlands. 
I hiked to the spot where I did my first raffle. I wore them. 19. The first thing fans of Bachelor Nation ask me when they approach me in person or online is, could I snap a photo of you? That is very wonderful. It's a tiny way for you to spread the excitement and delight of the program to other people. 20. In five years, where do you see yourself? Five years already. Are you crazy? Not even green bananas do I purchase. I look forward to the here and now. I'll accept everything life has to offer and go where I'm supposed to land. In the inaugural season of Bachelor Nation, Gabby Wendy co-starred with Bachelor Clayton Eckert. She later fell in love with Eric Shore on The Bachelorette, but their relationship ended. She then considered a same-sex romance while competing on Dancing with the Stars. After getting acquainted, she and Robbie Hoffman just celebrated Thanksgiving with her family. Gabby Wendy's family accepts her. After the former Bachelor and Bachelorette came out in August, it was evident that her family was aware of her sexual orientation from an early stage. After she was satisfied that her relationship with Robbie was going well, she used FaceTime to talk to her parents. Actually, since they were in different states, she was forced to proceed in that manner. The good news is that, despite their astonishment, they only wanted what was best for her. Other Bachelor Nation stars appear to have responded less enthusiastically to Gabby Wendy. Becca Tilly and Colton Underwood, two of them, were content with it nonetheless. He gained notoriety during his season on The Bachelor for leaving the fence and taking off. Becca, meanwhile, made her debut last year. Gabby Wendy, a former Bachelor, enjoys a private Thanksgiving. The former Bachelor Nation star shared some personal Thanksgiving moments on Instagram in a few tales. They looked cozy and engaged in some PDA in one picture. Robbie Hoffman was seated next to other family members in another picture. In a different picture, Robbie and Gabby's grandfather sat beside her as she entertained a puppy. Gabby Wendy seemed to be at ease sharing pictures of herself with Robbie online. The Bachelor at Alum shared some incredibly personal photos of themselves, cuddling up with intense desire. Remember that she is under no obligation to post any pictures of them together. She won't exactly get any more chances to appear on the dating show anyway, but she might be able to feature in a same-gender spin-off in the future. Fans of Bachelor Nation witnessed the romantic tale of Demi Burnett and Christian Haggerty on Bachelor in Paradise. The show's executives may or may not take a spin-off into consideration. A Reddit user posted a ton of Thanksgiving pictures, and Gabby's shot of Robbie and Grandpa received positive feedback. Something in my spirit has healed seeing Gabby's grandfather and her girlfriend hanging together like old friends. Would adore to see it. One of my all-time favorite Bachelor Nation relatives is still Gabby's grandfather. It's so adorable. They even have similar looks, haha. <laughs> How do you feel about Robbie Hoffman and Gabby Wendy spending some quality time together while unwinding with family on Thanksgiving? Comment below with your thoughts and make sure to check back for updates on The Bachelorette cast. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.